Hey guys, it's Mark here. I'm going to start referring to myself as the Garden Guru of Minnesota. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to uh, film a little segment here on window boxes. I'm filling up some window boxes for people that I work for. And there's a couple of things that I've noticed throughout the years that might help you out, those of you who are planting window boxes and wondering why they're never successful. One is, is you know, everybody wants to recycle last year's dirt, which is fine, but if that dirt is two years old or older, pull it out and use new stuff. I know it's going to cost a little money, but trust me, the healthier plants will really thank you for that. Um, if you can't do that, at least incorporate 50-50 new stuff with old stuff. Um, it does make a big difference. Use a time-release fertilizer in these buggers, Osmocote, something like that, something that's going to release some fertilizer throughout the year as you water. And then I also water with a supplemental fertilizer, something water-soluble, miracle Grow, something along those lines. There's organic products out there too. I always go organic when I can and when it's affordable. And the other thing is, is when you water these in, make sure you're thorough and use a watering can this makes a huge difference why because oftentimes if this soil is really dry and you try to water them in with a hose you're going to end up boiling it over which means that the water isn't accepted as easily as it is nice and soft out of a watering can and that is a big deal when you have a bunch of boxes that you do and you go to water them in and all of a sudden all your plants start to bulge up out of the soil and even spill out onto the ground. Um, and you might have to water them thoroughly two or three times to get that soil saturated. But that's what you want to do. If you can, move these buggers to their final location before you water them in. It makes moving them much easier. But I just kind of, oops, kind of lost my train of camera there. But these are a few things that I've learned along the way. Um, so yeah, pack these buggers, pack them, pack them, pack them. Another common complaint is my flower boxes aren't looking very full. Um, it's better to pack them now when the plants are small and pack them full. You can always trim back, pull a few out or whatever as needed. Um, but it's better that than to be looking at your planter boxes on July 4th weekend going, God, these look terrible. Plant them up. That's what plants are for, to enjoy. So, you know, spend a few dollars, plant them up. Those are a few things that you can do along the way here to enjoy your plants more, maybe work a little less. Um, and I will share more from the Garden Guru guy as time goes on. Thanks everybody for watching. Happy gardening and have a great day.